Hey everyone, welcome back to another video. So this video is not about Costa Rica. So if you're not interested in learning how I do certain things with our videos as far as creating them, then click off now. Uh, if you are interested in learning a little bit of what the process is for us, then keep watching. Um, this is a video that has been requested to show you guys how we get our logo into 3D space at the beginning of our videos. We do it on all of our videos. If you guys have been watching for a while, you know that each season we have different things. Like we did the glitch last year and we're doing sketch this year. And then we kind of did like a, a movie style thing the year before. So with the glitch and the sketch, I actually found some templates on Invato Elements. So there is a link below if you guys want to sign up to Invato. Uh, it'll give you seven days for free to try it out. So there's all sorts of stuff for After Effects, Premiere Pro, uh, there's stock video, uh, there's uh, audio, there's sound effects, all sorts of stuff that you can use to create your videos if you don't have those things sitting in your library. So yeah, click the link below, sign up to that. We do get a little bit of a kickback if you sign up, but it's totally worth having in Vato if you are gonna be creating videos, we use it all the time. So, so just an example, I go into the uh, video templates and then I searched up uh, glitch for the year, like last year and season four. And then I looked up and then just went through and found different glitch templates, one that would work best for our logo. I did have to play around with it a little bit, so you will have to kind of learn that process on After Effects a little bit, just to get rid of some of the background pieces or there's sometimes there's like a haze in the in the foreground or something like that. So you just gotta go through, find those and delete them if you don't want them in there. And same as like sometimes they'll tilt as a, as a glitch or as a sketch and things like that. So you just have to learn um, how to stop that motion and stuff like that. So I don't exactly remember how, I just kind of played around with it and got it to work. So, and then yeah, this year I just looked up sketch, found some different sketch things. So that's what I'm gonna show you today is how to put that logo into 3D space using After Effects. All right, so what you're gonna do, you're gonna open up your After Effects. You're gonna go to new project and then just make sure that your settings are set to default. Sometimes it'll be on standard, things like that. Just to show that the tracker's on the side here, just for easy access to that. So what you're gonna do, we're gonna pull our clip in, just drag it on into After Effects, just over here to the project media. And then you're gonna drag it down into the timeline and then all you do is hit track camera. So that's gonna analyze in the background and then it's also gonna solve the camera as well. So it's gonna do the full camera tracking to create that 3D space. Um, so obviously more stable footage is gonna be better for this if you have a gimbal or if you're doing a drone like I am on this one, just so it's this nice smooth shot so it, it'll look good like the, the logo won't bounce around or anything like that. So I'm just gonna let this analyze in the background. I want you to sit through and watch all this and then we'll be right back once it's done. All right, so our Camera has been tracked now, it has been solved. You see all these little points here in the bullseye. That's what's gonna, that's the 3D space, it's created. And that's what you're gonna use to stick your logo in 3D space to um, what the video is actually doing. So what you're gonna do is, first off, you're just gonna find somewhere where it looks like that, where it's got the, the target. You're gonna right click, create null in camera. If you really wanna get fancy, you wanna add shadow to your logo, if it's like a really sunny day or something like that, then you can do create shadow catcher camera and light, and then you can actually adjust where the sun position is and that shadow that's gonna be created from your logo in 3D space. We're not gonna do that in this one just because it's not super sunny and there's a lot of uh, contrast and stuff um, from the rocks. So we're just gonna create null in camera. That's now created our 3D space. So what we wanna do now is we're gonna find a spot where we want our logo to actually sit. So as you see, there's all these rocks right here. So what I'm gonna do is just gonna, you can click just this individual um, tracking point, or you can do like this with the target. So then it's gonna have like more of that 3D uh, triangular uh, spot that it's gonna sit. So let's do that. We're gonna create null, and that's what we're gonna use to stick our logo to. So now we're just gonna drag our logo in. You can use a PNG, or you can use an animated logo like what we have, as long as it the background is transparent. So that's why the PNG comes into play because you can make that uh, background transparent and you can save that image just so it's just the logo that's gonna show up because you wanna have a square block or anything on there. Kinda looks silly. Um, but maybe your logo square then it'd be different. But if it's not, then this is how you wanna do it. So we're just gonna drag our logo in. So I just have it saved in here as a AVI file with a transparent background. So we're just gonna drag that into After Effects put it on top of our clip, and you're gonna see it pops in this spot there, into place. So as you see, when it's over top, it's just sitting 
in the foreground. It's not actually 3D yet. So what you have to do for that is you go over to the left here, you see this little 3D box. You're gonna click on that. That's gonna create a, that logo to become part of that 3D space. As you see now, when we move the camera, it's sticking in place, but it's not quite where we wanna have it. So remember, we got that null where we want it. So you're gonna go over here. This one's an orange one. It's gonna be different colors. Uh, it's not always the same. So click on that null. Press P, it's gonna bring up position. You're gonna control C, copy it, and then you're gonna click up onto your logo and control V, and you're gonna paste that. So now it's pasted into that space that you want that logo to be. You want it to be attached to where those points are that you chose. So right now you can see our logo is down below in the water, and that's not what we want. We wanna have it up in the sky so that we can fly through it. So just drag it up, it's super simple, wherever you wanna stick it, and now, as you can see, our logo is where we want it to be, and now we can go through it, but it kind of looks silly when it goes through there. So what we're gonna do, we're gonna drag it over a little bit so that it goes through a clear spot of the logo, and that just looks so much better. All right, so that's a logo in 3D space, super simple. So this is where you can, like, if you have an animated one, you can adjust where, where the sketch starts. So we're gonna adjust that a little bit. We wanna have it start a little bit later so that there's the initiating shot of the waves, and then, as it goes, because I'm gonna edit it to music as well. And as it goes, I'm gonna have different cuts probably depending on the song. And then it's gonna sketch in, or if it's just yours, you can actually just fade it in if you want, if it's just a logo, a PNG. We're gonna go back a little bit just so we get a bit of that logo showing before we zoom through it. So that you can see the full logo, and then we're just gonna go through. And I'll add a sound effect in there. It'll be like a woosh sound, like it's, flying past the logo like you're close to it and that's it that's how you add a logo into 3d space it's super simple um, i remember like first starting doing this i'm like how am i going to do that and i found some videos online like this and learned and then i just do it on every video now so it's like second nature to me and we do this for our um our episodes the, the writing and stuff like that it's the exact same process you can add anything in um if you guys watched our kabuya a cemetery island I put in a little ghost and a dancing skeleton it's the exact same way only that's again that's just an animated uh, piece that actually has a transparent background so then I just put that in and I could move it around and put it where I wanted to to make like the skeleton was actually standing there dancing so yeah you can do that for all sorts of stuff we put in uh, we put in ghosts and other Halloween ones and things like that so it's really cool it's actually it just gives you a little more creative uh, outlet as far as making your videos um, yeah, I know like a lot of a lot of you have requested on how we do this and, and show you. Um, I'm sure now you're going to do this and, and play around with it, which is really cool that you can add things like 3D text or logos or ghosts and skeletons into your video. And it's not really that hard. So now that that's done, that's it. So all we're going to do is go up to I'm going to save it first. So we'll just save as and we'll just do put it on the desktop and it'll be intro. I just do intro logo, so just save it. It's gonna save it. So then you go up to composition, add to render queue, which is down here. You see this is where your logo is, intro logo, render queue, it's right there. So just leave it on lossless, that's gonna give you the best quality. You can do save it as intro logo, whatever your name you wanna have it as, save it on your desktop or in onto your hard drive, uh, portable hard drive, whatever you have. Click save and then click render. So that's just gonna render out now. You can actually watch it as it goes. It's gonna sketch in to where we wanted it. And this is for a video that's upcoming. It's gonna come out the week before Father's Day. And this is when Scott and I went out and we just shot photos on this little secluded beach base. So stay tuned for that video. It was a fun, fun day just playing around with some ND filters and got the drone up and played around with it, got some photos as well. So that's it, it's rendered super, super quick. Obviously, depending on what, how fast your computer is. So we're gonna close it. Don't save it, it's just saying because you rendered it, it's gonna save it that way. So now we're gonna pull it up, pull up our other program, your editing program. So you might use Premiere or um, I use Vegas. I've used Vegas since 2001. And uh, it used to be owned by Sony actually and there has been Hollywood movies uh, edited on this program. So it is a really good program. Uh, I just find that it's a lot more uh, simple to use. It's just got a better, um, just a better layout for when you're editing as far as seeing where you're, you're splicing your clips, things like that. 
All right, so there's all of my clips for this video that I've already pulled in, just the raw clips. Um, I haven't started editing it yet because I always do all my graphics, like the lower thirds. If you guys want to learn how to do those, I can uh, do a video on that. So comment below, say, hey, I want to learn how you do the lower thirds with your names or if you want like the subscribe, um, different social media things. There's a lot of templates on Invato, so uh, you can go in there and just look up lower thirds and then you can pick whatever style you want and you just type it in. It's actually really easy to do. But yeah, comment below. Let me know any other how-to videos as far as editing goes that you'd like to see on our channel. Stuff that we do for our travel videos and all of our videos. So all right, so we got our intro logo here. So we're just gonna drag that into our editing software. So again, depending on which one you use, depends on if you use an Apple or a Mac. So that's it, it's just, that's your intro there is all loaded up. So this is where I bring music in from Epidemic Sound. Again, link below if you wanna sign up to that and uh, get copyright, copyright free music that you can use for any of your videos and you can actually monetize your videos that way. So really good library of uh, sound effects, music, and all that stuff. That's what I've been using for years. And every Friday new music comes out. So it's just like your favorite artists when they put new music on Friday. Uh, Epidemic Sound has new music come out every Friday as well. So that's why I usually do my editing on Fridays because then I get the newest music. I can go through that library and have the freshest music for our videos for that week. So yeah, that's it. Um, yeah, not much more than that. Super simple to do, like I said. So um, yeah, have fun with this and comment below. Let me know if you've done this now in your videos. Um, send me a link in the comments to one of your videos where you've done this uh, 3D uh, logo or text or whatever you want to have in there. Uh, I'd love to see it and uh, we'll leave the video off there. If you guys like this video, please leave a thumbs up. Again, if you want to see some more how-to videos, let me know, comment below. And if you haven't hit the subscribe button yet, please do and hit the little bell icon to get notified when we come on new videos. We have some cool trips coming up and we can't wait to show you those. So we'll see you in the next one. Ciao.